Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to use the check question. So, let's uh, create a new question and we have only question one question, this is an L here for label and let's call it, uh, well, you know, for example, fruit, what fruits have you eaten today? It's not really, uh, well sometimes you have uh, this type of question maybe in food di diaries so what you do is here the type of question it's a check question now we can of course also do this with point and click in the easy mode that's easier but i i want to explain some of the details um, so we have some options that we can use i'll show you that in the detail but so let's say what fruits did you eat today and let's imagine that we want to allow people to select multiple and let's say we say well with apple, peach, uh, orange. Let, let's start with something simple where we have three options. Of course you could have more but, but for for the sake of it. First of all let's have a look what it looks like. Now this is a survey that I just created um, so I need to make it online. You only need to do this one time and um, what I'm going to do with this uh, normally you get a you've all sorts of options I'm going to ask uh, not to have a welcome screen so that when I'm testing I don't every time need to go through this through this uh, welcome screen so I need to save this and then I go back to compile compile and run the survey and here you see the question as the participant would see it so and the idea here is that you can that a participant can, can select none or three at the same time all right that that's all you have in this survey and I close this this test now okay that's easy but the nice thing with such toolkit is that there are lots of options that you can add um, and what I sometimes like in this type of survey is to make sure that you know when people see this say you have a participant who just says well you know I just want to run through it quickly I'm just going to click immediately continue and they don't consider it or maybe erroneously they they thought, oh, it's 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 highlighted. I I can click this. So how can you prevent that? Now that's actually quite easy. What I do typically for that sort of, you can say, for example, at the bottom, none of the above. Now, if we run this, uh, people could of course still say. They could still ignore it and just end it, but you want that they at least click this. So how do we do that? Well, I'll close these tabs here and there is an option. So what you have, there is an option that you say the minimum, oh, so you have, sorry, require, you say require at least one. So you can have, this means at least one, require one. It means at least one. They can have more, but at least one. So let's see how it works. So you cannot click this but if I click one or click more it stays blue but I need at least one see if I unselect it it doesn't work so this way if people haven't eaten an apple peach or an orange they can say none of the above right okay so that's that's that uh, now let's see what if people have had something else so instead of none of the above you could also maybe have well you can have that as an option I had no fruit I had no fruit. That's an option. You can also have maybe an option other. So how do you do that? Well, there is inside toolkit within curly brackets you have the other option, and then you can say another fruit, and then then how does it look like? We compile this, we run it, and now see there is an option to say for example they ate um, a kiwi just typing that they also then you they need to select it because that's quite important and the way side toolkit works uh, they you can undo it and then but then uh, it's not selected so the reason why so so we could program it so in principle that is if they unselected that this disappears but sometimes you wonder if that is really the most user-friendly solution so I, I left it in like this anyway so 
those are uh, and and in principle they can say I ate another fruit but without specif specifying what they ate and uh, well that's roughly all all you can do there's one other cool feature and I want to show you that and that's sometimes useful so instead of just requiring a minimum number of amount you can also the maximum say so what do you say uh, please do not list more than two well, that is not a meaningful uh, it, you know it doesn't really make um, theoretical sense to do that but I just want to show the technical options of site toolkit here so if we compile it so what happens in this option is where your people can they can have two but uh, when they have more than two it, you know it goes gray again as well so they, they have to have two now you can also have an option in which they they have to have exactly two so how do you do that well that's very simple inside toolkit you say require a minimum of two and a maximum of two so this line require so this basically O colon means option require at least two maximally two so then they must select exactly two and for some psychological surveys that might be useful now we can also do this with the easy mode and uh, so the the only uh, thing here with the option the, the the special option that we have uh, we have here participant needs to select at least X items not select more than X items actually so we have that so that is under general options very nice so you can do that all with point and click so I hope that helps um, it's a short short you know if you use the check question consider these options it's great um, what do you think about this uh, any questions leave it under the comments and uh, please also if you like this type of uh, if you like this type of tutorial just please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel thank you for watching